You read the title right, Rec Room has done something absolutely crazy again. Because if you actually look at the merch booth behind me, you will see that all of these old winter sets have now been re-released. Of course, I joined in 2019 and some of these sets go all the way back to 2018, even before I joined the game. So of course, I do not have some of these. So in this video, I'm going to be buying everything on this board, talking about the consequences of releasing old things like these, as well as talking about the new S stuff in the rec center. Which yeah, they have some new S stuff we're gonna have to take a look at. This is going to be a crazy video, so keep watching till the end. All right, so first, obviously, I do not have any of these sets, especially this one. I am definitely excited to be getting my hands on this. I know that this must hurt for people who already had this. I believe this set is from 2018. But here we go. We're gonna buy this hat right here. It is down here. And we have it. We have the hat. Next up is the scarf and boom. And finally, the sweater is mine. I own the whole set now. And I actually forgot to buy the green set mittens, so here these are. Now I have the whole set. So fun fact, I got the mittens and the hat for this set, but I never got the sweater or the scarf. Now I believe this set was a weekly challenge for like 2019 maybe, around there. I remember it being out and I got some of the pieces, but I didn't bother with the others. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish this set. And of course my token wallet is taking a huge hit right now, but I think it's worth it because I am an avid winter set collector. I want to get all of them. And so by buying that sweater i finally have all of that set the only one left is to do the reindeer set now this is a set i've only seen recently but i really love the patterns of it it looks so good the hat there we go and here are the mittens all right so there you have it i now own everything on this board i had like 11,000 tokens i think at the start i'm not sure but there I have 2,359 remaining. But yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I want to collect all of these winter sets, so I see this as an absolute win. So now that we got our shopping spree out of the way, I wanted to talk a little bit about what bringing back these items actually means for the community and the rec room economy overall. Now for people who don't own these sets like me, it was so awesome to see that these were brought back and I was able to actually purchase them for myself. But for the OGs who already own these sets, it's kind of crushing to know that they came back as they kind of lost that rarity value and well, they're not rare anymore. They're one of the most common items because they're in the shop. I think being able to have rare items in Rec Room is a really good idea and it allows a lot of variety in outfits. It's not like everyone's going to be wearing the same thing. It lets certain people stand out and kind of have bragging rights about getting the item before. While I didn't have any of this stuff and I'm not very salty about this re-release, I probably would be if it was other rare items like maybe the FNAF hoodie which was only available for I think like one day. Also, the rarest items I have only date back to 2019 there are some people who have rare items that go all the way back to 2016 so I could imagine that it would be really soul crushing to see one of those really rare items just come to the shop available for anyone to purchase. So yeah, cool for people who don't have the items already, but kind of uncool for the OGs. I'm still actually surprised by this. I did not think Rec Room would do this at all. The green winter set is one of the like, it's the one of the most rare item sets and it just, it's it blows my mind that they even thought to bring this back. But we are actually going over here because we're going to the rec center to check out the new S stuff. So here we are in the rec center and we have a new little front facing, you know, display here. We got a buggy and I believe this is because there is, uh, it's just the same buggy skin that's always been there. But actually all of these items are re-releases except for the S cyber motorcycle helmet as well as the S cyber shovel. Both of these coming in at 15,000 tokens without Rec Room Plus. And I mean, yeah, that's kind of slick, kind of cool. I don't know how it would look on an actual Rec Room character, but I, I think it looks pretty cool. Not 15k cool though. Same goes for the shovel. I don't think I'd pay for that. But yeah, other than that, we got things like the anglerfish beanie, skeleton mask. We got the retro gamer gloves. We saw those at Recon last time. 
We got the Samurai Belt Sword Shogun, you know, the Outlaw stuff, the Chess Knight hat, which is a pretty cool one. Just a bunch of random re-releases. I don't know if this says anything about the lore or whatever, but if you've seen any of my past videos on the S stuff, you would know that I'm not really a fan of all the lore stuff and I just don't understand it. But um, one last feature over here, we have an inspect button on this buggy and if you click it, it says, looks like we have a damaged Wreck Valley car covered in dirt. If only we had some gear to dig it out. Which obviously, in classic Rec Room style, means that you have to purchase the $15,000 shovel in order to find out what's in the car. And hang on a second, I'm gonna check something out. So I went ahead and put the old Science Invasion shovel on my back and let's see if this actually allows me to do anything. Nope, it's just doing the same text as it was before. So yeah, you do have to buy this new shovel. The old one doesn't work, which is so stupid. I don't know what it does, and I don't know if I really care to know what it does. It probably just gives you a couple more pieces of lore. Probably just talks to you and says something cryptid like, You've managed to find my buggy. I drove it from outer space. I am actually an alien. Some stupid lore like that, I don't know. But yeah, Rec Room did one heck of an update with all of this new stuff. Uh, I, can't, I still cannot believe that they brought those winter sets back, but I am happy to have bought them. I am broke now. So what do you think about all of this stuff? What do you think about the S lore? What do you think about Rec Room bringing back these old items? Do you think they're gonna continue doing this? I actually think they are. I'm not sure where they're going with this, but every single time they add a new storefront, you see old items from like 2018, 2017. How far are we gonna go back? But yeah, that's the end of the video, but real quick, a shout out to my members, Jaden and Space. Hopefully that's still your name. Thank you guys for all of the support. I really appreciate it. If you would like to become a member, click that join button down below. It's only $2.99 per month and you get a bunch of epic perks, including, but not limited to, this epic shout out at the end of the videos. So that is all. I appreciate you all for watching, sticking around, like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, so this is my first reaction to the Rec Room Plus seasonal item. Let's see what we got. What is this? A snowboard? A hoverboard? What? What the? Okay, that's kind of cool. A little bit interesting. Oh, it's on my back now. Uh, kind of weird.